Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. And I'm sure you guys can all read that, that's The Binding of Isaac Rebirth for the PC. Yes, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now, remember, I did Let's Play the original Binding of Isaac many years ago. Well, actually, I think it was a couple years ago. It was 60 episodes, and judging by other playlists, has the longest amount of time. So feel free to check that out, by the way. I managed to, like, uh, complete all the challenge runs, defeat Mom and all that stuff several times, and even did custom challenge runs submitted by you guys. Will you see that again? Well, who knows? I did put a little practice in one file because I didn't get any time to record it otherwise, and I could not pass up the opportunity to try out this game myself. So there are actually three files to choose from, which is actually very nice. Meaning you don't have to delete your save file if you have so much stuff done and you want to start over. You can actually just start a new file, which is what I'm going to do. Unrecognized gamepad, yeah, I have a wireless Logitech controller, but that's no big deal. If you can go to your options, you can see your controls anyway. I don't want this on full screen, thank you very much. And you can take a look at your keyboard controls. Of course, you use WASD to move, and you can, like, use the arrow keys to shoot. So, yeah, I got it mapped to a key, I mean, a joy to key emulator, so I can use the keyboard controls, but still use my controller. We'll just go through all these controls right here. There's actually a map button, so you can zoom in and zoom out. You can restart your run if you wanted to, you can mute it, or you can just pause the game. And you can actually drop your item if you feel it's not good enough. So, there we go. And you can go to your Logitech cordless controller if you want to use a controller badly enough without the uh, Joy Key emulator. The choice is yours. Also, this game now has the ability to quick save, so if you have to leave your run, you can actually go back to it, which is actually pretty nice. And I press tab to input a C. Do I want to do that? Oh, you can just enter like some random numbers and letters and see what happens. So, maybe I'll do that by you guys. You can submit some seeds to me. We'll see. Alright, so we got the standard characters. Isaac, Maggie, you need at least seven heart containers to get her. 55 or more pennies to get Kane. 
Judas is locked. I gotta progress the game a little bit more. Unlocked by not picking up hearts for two levels? Huh. That's how you unlock Eve, apparently. Samson, you can't take damage at all. Levels, I don't know if they mean floors or, like, entire regions. Like, for example, basement and caves would be two levels. Because that would be painful. I mean, I take some deals with the devil, and that's gonna cost me. Azazel is a new character, and you gotta make three deals with the devil in one game. And Lazarus, you gotta have at least four soul hearts. Eden is kind of like a wild card. As you progress through the game and fulfill certain achievements, like I think it's Kill Mom or whatever, you get an Eden token. I don't know if Blue Baby's in this game. Maybe if I keep playing the game a little bit more, we'll find out. There's also a hard mode if you want to play on hard. Which I don't want to yet, so we'll just have a standard Isaac run. So how long will this Let's Play go? As long as I wanted to, of course. Everything just looks so crisp. Like, everyone was saying that Isaac's gonna look a little more retro. In my opinion, it kinda looks a little bit more polished than the original version, if you ask me. Like, the music is so much more awesome. The sound effects are really good, just the graphics, all that. Like, I've had, like, a couple runs. Like, what was the amount of runs I had on my first save file? I think it was, like, four. Like, I didn't want to play it too much, because I still want to be surprised with this stuff. Okay, I don't really want to give up bombs for a game yet. Yeah. We run into some new enemies, new bosses, and new types of champions. Basically, Rebirth is an expanded version of The Binding of Isaac with Wrath of the Lamb. Like, Rebirth's new items can add up to all of Wrath of the Lamb's new items for a huge variety. It's gonna take you several runs to unlock everything. And we can do several runs. Well, I can do several runs. You guys can watch unless you're playing the game yourself. This is one of these new items. Ares. <laughs> Ramming speed. Uh, is that like a speed up or something? I think it's a speed up. I like that you can just look at your stats and all that stuff. Okay, VHN to 097D. That's the seat I got, apparently. And I think we'll go to the curse room. Oh, there's a new item here up there as well. Alright, I'll take that. Contract from below. Well, but at what cost? Huh, I have no pupils anymore. This is one of those new items as well, and I heard it is quite good when it comes to consumables. I believe it allows you to get, like, a uh, two consumables instead of a standard one. Oh, we gotta take on Gemini. Don't worry, I see that tinted rock over there. I find that tinted rocks are a little bit harder to see in Rebirth than it is in the original version. Gemini is pretty much the same. Like, it's just conjoined twins running at you. The smaller one is attached and will just fire shots at you. And after a while, the big one gets tired, and then you can just take some free hits at it. Whenever you destroy the big one, the little one will turn red and just fly at you. It doesn't shoot anymore, so be careful with your tears. Or your tears can cause some knockback, and just send the little guy all over the place. So we're definitely going to be having a lot of runs to- Oh! Jeez, to unlock some stuff. I almost took some damage there. Chances are I'll get some item descriptions wrong, because remember, I haven't really saw every one of them, and I haven't bothered to look them up, because, you know, I like to learn this stuff. It's almost like taking the Northern Lion approach, but I'll eventually get it right. You know, depending on how quickly I view my fan feedback. Latch key? <laughs> oh, you get two keys for that anyway, that's cool. No, I didn't want to pause the game, I pressed the wrong button, I want to go to my box. Ooh, and I get two soul hearts. That's real nice. Uh, should I go to the shop? I don't think so. There's really no point. I mean, what am I going to buy with three cents anyway? Aww. Isaac loves the cankles. Come on. 
Alright, so you don't really get cellar, catacombs, or necropolis yet. You have to actually unlock them, which is quite neat. Almost everything is even more unlockable than it was in previous versions. Okay, now these kind of rocks will actually explode when you destroy them. Uh, I got one bomb though, so let me think about my options carefully. I'm getting some money though. Ooh, Mr. Boom. Okay, you can actually see how many charges it takes to fill it. In this case, because I see like two segments, it's a two charge item. That would actually be very good. I can use it over here now. Let me place it right over here on this spot. Oh, did I screw it up? No. I don't know if that trick actually applies where if you plant a bomb and then you leave and then come back, does it become like a Mr. Mega style bomb? Or is that just superstition? Wait a minute, do I still have my charge? Huh. Wait a minute, I think I used a regular bomb. Yeah, I did use a regular bomb. I didn't even use my Mr. Boom at all. There. That's what I did, I used a regular bomb. <laughs> I just unlocked Lazarus right away. Huh. Like, this is only our second floor and already we unlocked a character. I still got my horns though, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think Ares just allows you to move a little bit faster. I don't know if you can actually do ramming damage. Probably not. And yeah, I think I'll use a key to go to the shop. Alright, so there's your donation machine. Now, it doesn't spit out items, but if you give the donation machine plenty of money, you can actually unlock some stuff. Blue map has appeared in the basement. Oh, we get a new item. Well, given that last hint, eventually the donation machine will be full, and you can't use it again for the rest of the run. But at least your donation amounts will carry over to future runs. Those are some of the things I've noticed. Now, there are some things I still haven't found out yet. But, all in due time, I suppose. I would like to uh, get Mr. Boom fully charged before I take on the boss. So I might want to do that. Yes, I can charge it up. We okay, haven't run into too many new enemies yet. Just the standard Isaac enemies. Good. Alright, Mr. Boom's ready to go. Uh, should I try to get that other money? We'll see. It all depends on what happens after I beat the boss, and maybe I get a deal with the devil from it. So, let's go take on Monstro. Okay, we all know what Monstro. What changed from the original Isaac is that now Monstro will have different enemies around him. Usually, he might only just have flies. In this case, he'll just have standard Isaac enemies. Oh, that did a nice bit of damage. That was a good Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Not you, Monstro. Your hair lip freaks me out. That and you try to kill me. I'm not saying that anyone with a hair lip will creep me out. Unless they try. Oh, I got Basement Boy unlocked. I never did that in my original file. Interesting. I got Squeezy. That's a tears up. And I get two soul hearts right away. Um, I don't want to give a one red heart for the shovel. That's not a good item. I wish I had Mr. Boom fully charged so I can get more money. You know what? I'm going to leave the money. But then again, that could have been a top secret room in there. Bit of a pipe dream, but... Oh, don't poop in my armpits! Come on! They smell enough as is. Okay, there are some new room layouts as well. Like retractable spikes, we weren't able to see that in the original Isaac, probably because the engine didn't really support all the stuff that Emmett McMillan wanted to do. But with this new engine, he's capable of doing all that he wants. This game is also out on PS4 and the Vita as well, so if you got those, definitely get this game. 
Okay, here's a new enemy over there. Next to these turrets, or they're really called hosts, I believe. You gotta get close, wait for them to pop up, and then shoot them. That guy wasn't really a threat. Let's see what our item room... Oh, yes, the wafer! I don't really think it matters in the grand scheme of things, because we're not going to be able to go to the womb anyway. Alright. I know I'm pretty much spouting spoilers here, but most of you already see my original Isaac Let's Play anyway. Okay, these are actually walking versions of hosts. They fulfill the same purpose, only they actually walk, of course. I remember uh, Dark Boy giving me a total pain to try to unlock in the original Isaac. In fact, I had to do it off camera. Okay, Spelunker Boy wasn't that hard, and neither was Mama's Boy, believe it or not. You usually fulfill these achievements by not taking damage at certain levels. Okay, here's something new. This is called a Dark Heart, or an Evil Heart. Basically what these things are is that whenever they're depleted by taking damage, they serve as doing instant damage to all enemies on screen. Okay, I get another new item. I think that's the Gimp? The Gimpy, I think it's called? Sweet Suffering. I have no idea what that does. I don't really think it affects my stats in any way. That's the same standard damage. I don't know, my range decreased. Maybe the knockback is a little bit further? Oh well. I'm pretty sure somebody will be able to let me know. Oh god. Wall spiders are very annoying. You can find other enemies that just hang onto the walls too. It's not too bad. Ooh, you even get like multiple chests. Oh yes, that dime was good. Oh, bats! I wonder if they put bats in this game specifically for me. I wonder. Because you know how I feel about bats in video games. These are not terrible, though. Speaking of, like, flying enemies, I kind of wish I could fly, too. Alright, so let me take care of these enemies. Whenever you take out the upper parts, the lower parts will just spawn lots of creep. I think I'm gonna look for the shop before I take on the boss. Well, I actually did find the shop, but I never even took advantage of it. I think I should do that right now. And you can actually just see the amount of time you had in this run. That's quite neat. What's this item? Starter deck? Extra card room? Oh, I get the death card. That's nice. These little batteries there will just recharge your item instantly. So it's not like a five cent battery. Come on, do something with my money. Ah, oh, store upgrade. Okay. So you can actually upgrade your shop to, to give better items? Also, when this is full, I think I'll use a Mr. Boom on it. You can get money back. That's cool. Alright, so... Really should recharge Mr. Boom again. First, let me see if the secret room's right here. It's not. Another thing I like about secret rooms is that you don't have to blow them up again if you want to return. If you unlock a passage, it stays open. Huh, poor guy. And yet, I shot at him. YOLO. Okay, these things can be very annoying because they try to suck you in. Oh, that's a lot of items in that gold chest. Kind of wish it had, like, a key. But bombs are nice. I really like the music in the challenge rooms, like, mob trap or boss trap rooms, I usually call them, or Northern Lion usually calls them. And I start doing it just because he did. It was an easy way to separate them. But the music here is just so much more rocking. Alright, so these can be very annoying if you don't do a lot of damage, or you don't have a very high tier stat. Because they're just going to keep respawning. 
There. Next wave, it's just these guys. They're not too hard either, just keep moving. Like, this guitar solo right here, that's pretty much my favorite part of this song. It just pumps you right off. Ah, yeah. Okay, I think now would be a good time to take on the boss. Wait, can I actually get that evil heart, though? Can this be blown up? I don't know. No, it can't. Okay, those blocks are indestructible. If I had, like, the magnet, I would have been able to grab it. Oh, we gotta take on Chubb. I remember him. He sucks if you don't have a lot of bombs. So let me use the death heart. Don't be surprised if I miss Tinted Rocks as well. Remember, like I said before, they're harder to spot in this game. Okay, so far, so good. I don't want to use up a lot of my bombs. So I'd rather use them for other stuff. I mean, Chubb is not that hard. Once he lunges towards you, he just goes in a straight line. Actually, I think Chubb is female, yeah. Usually I just call Chubb male, but it's really a female. I remember Northern Lion used to call a Carrion Queen a male. Yeah, a queen a male. Huh. How about that? It's like Capcom logic. I gotta take on these silkworms. There. Oh, this is a different mushroom. Blue Cat. HP tears up, but shot speed down. Eh, shot speed down is not terrible. If you have, like, fast shot speed, you have more knockback. Sometimes the knockback can screw you over. Oh, I wanted to go to the uh, boss trap room. But I need to be, like, really low health for that to happen. Oh, God. Must be bad. I still don't see any obvious effects of the Gimpy, though. Like, I'm still able to do business as normal. Maybe someone will be able to tell me, like, what Gimpy does. If you know what it is, let me know. I'm welcome to all kinds of fan feedback on this project. I'm sure there were a lot of people that were less playing Rebirth. Oh, killing that champion gave me some blue flies. That's neat. Oh, gotta be careful with these particular flies, because they explode in four-way shots whenever you kill them. Uh, I'd be glad to find the secret room right here. And I didn't. Oh, oh god. These champions are scary. They have, like, the Ipecac shots. At least they freed up that tarot card for me. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. I don't like this room. It's like Nom. At least they open up the room for me, but if I leave, then I have to fight them again. Ah, Mom's Pearl. I think that increases the chances of soul hearts. Eh, two of hearts, okay. So, that allows me to double my uh, hearts. That's pretty neat. Okay, I actually thought, like, left control allowed me to drop my item, but... I still have it. Oh, well. Maybe that's not its real intended purpose. It's probably for, like, on local multiplayer, which this game actually has. I really like that you can get, like somebody to join in at the cost of one of your hearts to fight with you. And you can always, like, send them back just by pressing a different button. I find that very interesting. Oh, I don't like this room. I want to get the key and the money, but then I have to take damage. And I would like to get Spelunker Boy. So, I'm just gonna try to defeat the boss, and then when I get there, then I can probably. Uh, oh, I could have took damage right there. <laughs> then I'll go back for those items. I don't like that these guys spawn spiders. Hate spiders in this game. 
Not because they're ugly, but because they're so fast. The big ones just split. Uh, I think I'll use another Mr. Boom charge on this turret here. The stars! They'll send me to the item room instantly. The hell is this? Flush! Is this for a toilet? It requires six, six charges. So it might be very good. Oh god. Oh! You can turn your enemies into poop! That's hilarious! Oh! I think I want to stick with this item! It, it has like... Oh god. Yeah, I took damage. I took two damage. That's not good. These bony enemies that kind of remind me of Dry Bones from Super Mario Bros. They attack you way too fast. The Hermit. That takes me to the shop. More card room. Oh, you know what it does? It allows you to carry two cards. Oh, I can take the Bible. And if I use that, it allows me to fly for that one room. You know what? I'll buy it. I feel bad for, you know, Flush because it actually saved me earlier. But we might see that item again eventually. I think I'll take the Bible with me because it's actually very good against Mob. Put out this fire, and I don't know what I need this Bible for. I'll just head back to the room with the money and the keys. Money and the keys, and the money in my mind, and my mom, the money, and the money, and the things. I don't know. That song was over before it began. I still need to find the secret room, though. There are a couple options. I don't want to try it around pitfalls, though. It may not even be it. Oh, this actually requires two keys. I have two keys, but... Do I really want to use them here? I guess I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm usually very inquisitive. Probably gonna find oh, I forgot those champions do that. Yep, let's do it. Ooh, I don't have any keys for this one, though. I'd find some here. Eh? I took some damage, but you know what? Using bombs to blow that up is no big deal. Paperclip? Huh. Oh! That allows you to unlock doors! I get Bob's brain! Oh, so it's kind of like a familiar that charges up. And then when it hits an enemy, it explodes. It, it can be good, but it can also be terrible. Wait a minute, I didn't even check the secret room, did I? And no, you can't use Bob's brain on tools. That would have been cool, though. Uh, not many places you can look for the secret room, though. Did I try here? How about here? No. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I checked... Oh. Did I check around this side? We'll try here. No! Okay. And I did check here, because I can still see the, uh, the markings on the wall. Maybe the secret room and the top secret room are right next to each other, so they're much harder to see. You know what, let's take on Gertie. Yeah, I pretty much had to wait here just to use the, uh, Bob's brain. And I don't like those boils, because they can be very annoying to dodge. And the thing about Bob's brain, it's very good, it's kind of like a Bob's rotten head. But if you're too close, you get hurt. That's why I don't use it on enemies that are in close range. And it can be hard to telegraph when you're actually going to fire it. 
Journey is actually pretty easy as long as you keep going from different cardinal directions. You should be fine then. Oh, good, I got him before he can shoot again. Ah, I like little chubby. I like that item. What's this? Matchbook? Oh, evil up, so I get lots of bombs. And I get half an evil heart. Okay, that's neat. Oh, we made it to the depths. Only 30 minutes in. Nice. Well, technically 21 minutes, so that's around the time I actually got to start. Okay, these particular enemies over here that keep going diagonal, you cannot hurt them. You have to kill all the enemies, and then when you do, that's when they disappear for good. I gotta take out these uh, fetuses over here. I like to teleport and stuff. That can be real mad annoying. They're not that much of a problem. This paperclip is actually gonna be very awesome for me. If it can just unlock stuff for me. But I would imagine it has its limits. After a while, you just can't use it again. Oh, I took damage. Hmm. Can this paperclip actually wear out? Or is this unlimited? I'm gonna try to run out of keys. Oh god, this room can be annoying. Not because of the layout, but these particular spiders have brimstone lasers. Oh, we finally get to see our first big room. You might find rooms that are actually like one row larger or one column larger. Or it could be two by two. That's very interesting. Adds a very unique dynamic to how you approach certain rooms. Sometimes you'll be fighting bosses in rooms of this size. And when you do, you're going to find more than one of them. I don't think you can find two gurneys, so... If it's possible, that scares me. Or two Masks of Infamy. Actually, Mask of Infamy is not that terrible, just annoying. Bloat, on the other hand, if I had to fight two of those, we're gonna have a bad time. I was wondering where Bob's brain was. Also, I noticed that if you have, like, a full 12 hearts, so to speak, even if it's soul hearts, you can't pick them up. So they added a nice balancing feature that you just can't have hearts off the screen. Like you normally could in Isaac if you had a really good run. So they made it a little bit more fair. Okay, nothing happened here. No enemies. That's strange. Huh, I didn't even get to use keys either. So I guess I can just keep using the lockpick until it maybe breaks? And I'll save my keys! Oh, this is gonna be an overpowered trinket! Is it set to the amount of uses? Or is it lock-based? Because remember, I did get the latch key earlier. Would my lock be a factor? Or is it just programmed on its own? I completely... Oh, come on! Like, completely independent from my own stats. Let's take out these knights over here that you can, like, get from behind. I guess Bob's brain actually works really well against them. Oh, until they move. Remember, the brain can only go straight. There we go. i take this one for myself. Alright. Uh oh why'd I walk into the fire? I thought I would have put it out by then. Oh, God. Oh, the brain mist. I'm not talking about the, the brain from Arthur, or Pinky in the brain. Okay. So far, so good. This is gonna be a one run, for sure. These fat enemies can be annoying. Especially when they split up like that. I almost took damage, too. I can find an item that gives me a lot more red hearts because I want to unlock Maggie. Or get 33 more cents. I have to really navigate around the spikes. 
Oh, I hate when that happens. You know what? Bob's brain can really descend to one of these terrible items. That can really hurt you more than it hurts the enemies. Because most of the time, enemies are close to you anyway, and while you're trying to aim it, you get hurt. Goat head? That's actually a pretty good item. You know what? I'm gonna take it. This allows you to avoid damage from above, like certain shots aiming at your head. You can avoid it. And it increases your chances of a deal with the devil showing up to pretty much all the time. Every time you defeat a boss, you're gonna get a deal with the devil item. As long as you have the goat head. I don't see any tinted rocks in this pile, though. Oh, I didn't even know there was actual enemies here. Oh, is this guy. And I just managed to avoid the shot. Oh! I can't forget I got the Bible, though, so that'll allow me to fly. Oh, there's the item room. Charm of the Vampire! So my red hearts will heal. For every amount of enemies I kill. I can get the nine bolt. I definitely want that. So there's probably not gonna be a cane run, but at least I got Lazarus unlocked. Uh, there was no secret room there. Maybe one here. Actually, I'm better off checking. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna bother to look for the secret room. Let's just go to the boss. The gate. Here's a new boss. These can just spawn lots of enemies and rotating shots. I've had a hard time with this boss. Oh, wow! Did you see that? I didn't think that was possible. To cause, like, certain angles like that. That's gonna be so hard to telegraph. Oh, God. I got too many enemies on screen. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna get hit regardless. There! Do I have all my soul hearts gone? I lost all my soul hearts to this one boss. Okay, so no items, but red chests. Get Guppy's tail. You know what? That works well with the uh, lockpick. Nine lives? Do I really want nine lives? Well, let me use a Wheel of Fortune. I get a slot machine. I get the chariot. Okay, so just by pressing, like, a uh, control, I'm able to go to whatever item I want. Uh, sure, we'll go in nine lives, but then I'm down to one red heart. You know what? I'm not gonna use it. I mean, what's the point of trying to turn into Guppy anyway? Uh, I'll play this till I run out of money. Actually, I'll play it till, like, seven cents. And then I'll blow it up. Yep, you had your fun. And I get my money back and a bomb. Full refund. Yeah, I'm not bothering to be guppy this early. This is gonna be the last floor anyway. Ah, little Dingles! Dingle is a new boss in Finding of Isaac Rebirth as well. Just sentient poop that attacks you. Did he just go on the spikes like an idiot? Oh yeah, you gotta watch out for these dash attacks. But they're easy to notice. Eh, sure, I'll go to the arcade. Oh god, lots of judgments here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use the cherry card. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got the virus. That's a poison touch. Give up my keys. You know what? I don't use keys anyway. And I'll just give up some red hearts here. Hopefully I can get the blood bank. Wait, wait, there's two blood banks here! I just noticed that! 
I get a lot of money, I can just give it to the uh, beggar over here that just wants my money. You know, this guy would get the keys anyway, see? They work really well together. Oh, mom's coin purse. It turned all the pills to tarot cards. Two of diamonds? Yeah, I'll use it. Now Kane's unlocked. G Guppy's collar. So I may have, like, one more life. Oh, man, I could have had Guppy. Oh, the hangman just allows me to fly. Death card. I don't want to use the two of hearts yet. I want to wait till I get more health, obviously. Yes, that's better. I think I should use it right now, actually. There. I'm gonna keep milking that blood bank for what it's worth. This could actually come back to haunt me, though. You know what, I'm not gonna play it anymore. It's just too too big a risk. Oh. Gotta remember, I still have Bob's brain. But it actually paid off! I gotta remember that Bob's brain doesn't really show up in the start of the room. You just gotta wait for it to appear. So I can just play as normal until that happens. Ah, oh, you showed up at the worst possible time. I hate it. God, these flies can be annoying with Bob's brain. So if I get a good shot lined up, which I didn't. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, that was beautiful. A little chain reaction. Usually my Isaac runs go this long anyway. But remember, we had the intro to watch. Ooh, that was dangerous too. I definitely need more health. I put myself in a real bad position. Wait, I can't use this anymore? Did the lockpick break? I think it broke. But it didn't look any different. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter anyway. Wait a minute. Did that purple fire hurt me for no reason? I didn't even see it shoot. Maybe I should just ignore it altogether. Oh, we gotta fight greed. That's not good. Ah, uh, maybe he'll drop the steam sail. Not that I could ever need it, but it'll be a new item in my collection. Greed only shoots three ways, so there you go. Well, I'm not gonna buy anything in shops. That was the last one. So technically, I don't even need the uh, lockpick anymore. Let's go. I'm not gonna go to that blood bank. Oh god, I oh should not have done that. Be careful with these like genies from Zelda, because they just pop up out of nowhere. And whenever they see you, they will shoot at you. They can be very annoying if you get caught in a very bad spot that you can't escape from. Come on, help me out here, gold chest. Flat penny? Well, it's kind of worthless. But then again, so is that other trinket. So, I'll take it. Eh, slot machine not worth it either. This item room is the mulligan! Alright, so randomly I can shoot up blue flies. So, it's kinda like Guppy. Just remember when you're Guppy you're able to fly. Which I cannot do unless I activate the Bible. Usually when these little dingles actually charge up like that, that's when they're ready to charge. Dash right into you. Just gotta pay attention to their faces. Yes! Aww. Ah, uh, Pinky Eye. You know what? It technically is better than the Flat Penny, given the circumstances. Oh, God. These things look a hell of a lot bigger than they were in the other games. 
But they have the same purpose, they just keep spawning flies. I'm gonna wait for you to go this way. There, that's better. Yeah, oh god. Oh, I was stuck. Oh god. Mom's hands are dangerous. Think of them like wall masters from Zelda. They just come down to hurt you. Technically, they don't just grab you and send you back to the beginning. You know, I'm gonna use the death card. These guys are immune to the death card. Unless they pop up. I was better off using my death card against these scum. I think I have some other tarot cards left behind in the arcade, but I'm not gonna bother to grab them. Oh, I missed. It's like, do oh, I missed! Liberty cap? No. I'm gonna pass on that item. Wait, secret room over here? I haven't found a secret room in a while. Oh, how did you miss those enemies? They were right there! Two fatties and the brain just squeezes right between them. How is that even possible? Damn hitboxes, though. I think this is going to shape up to a really good Let's Play. Don't you think so? Uh, you know what? Let's just take on Mom. Let's do this, Mom. Oh! What about the brain? I didn't think it was going to activate that soon. Alright, I'm going to hold off on using the Bible until we get very low. Bob's brain! is the worst, because that's two times it hurt me on this one fight. Remember, Mob Stomp does do one heart of damage. Music here is actually pretty good. This Mob's voice sounds a little bit more menacing. That time I didn't take damage from Bob's brain, that's good. Remember, I got Charm of the Vampire, so all these enemies keep giving me health. That's better. Oh, I, I did take damage? I couldn't even see it. Or hear it, actually. You know, now would be a good time to use the Bible. There, you get the Halo for it. Isaac was cornered. His mother fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. But it's not over. Alright, so that's the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Well, some of it at the very least. We have a lot more to do. I apologize if this is actually a bit loud. Because this particular ending has much louder music compared to the rest of the game. So yeah, you do get to see the credits, but you don't get to see the enemy roll. I think you have to wait until a bit later. Oh yeah, you get to see a lot of special thanks there. Oh, we just got the wound unlocked. Challenge 20, purist. The harbingers are out. And we get a cube of meat and a ball of bandages. So yeah, there's actually a lot more challenges than there were in the original Binding of Isaac. In fact, then it was only 10. This time there's 20. So yeah, there you go. When life gives you lemons, I <laughs> think to bring it all the way down. So I'll definitely be doing these challenges as well. So some of them are still not available yet, but over time we'll be able to unlock them, just like we did the purest. 
So, I'll stop the video right here. In the next part, we might do another Isaac run. We might try out one of these different characters. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching.